this is a one pound coin and this is a lost kid in the center of Birmingham, aka me. Today I'm going to be attempting a challenge to try and get 4,000 calories worth of food and a gym session in with only one pound and access to a smartphone in the center of Birmingham city. I was inspired by the hack on this challenge but I wanted to give my own gym version a twist on this to see if it's really possible to survive on just only one pound for an entire day. Without further ado, let's do this. Trying to think. Okay, so we found out that there's a place called Crepe Affair which do a, a free birthday crepe. Basically, you download the app and say it's your birthday and you get a free one. It could be closed, but we're gonna go try it and then hopefully get a free crepe. So, yeah. Feeling hungry, I was super excited to get the first meal of the day as a crepe until... Right, so, uh, original option was Crepe Affair. Uh, they do free crepes. Obviously, it's closed. So we're gonna have to find a, a different option, which I have no clue what we're gonna do. It feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Okay, so obviously the crepe place didn't work. We're going into Greg's right now. Uh, we've got the app. Uh, we get a free hot drink for signing up to the app. We say it's our birthday and then we get a sweet treat. So we'll go see what we can get. Uh, do you mind if I would do, what's the best thing I can get with this? Sweet treat? Yeah. Sorry about this. Do, you know, do you know what the most high calorie sweet treat is? All the calories are on there. Why do you need the most calories? Doing a challenge where we have to go around Birmingham uh, with only a pound and see if we can have a full day of eating. With just a full day of eating with a pound. With a pound, yeah. After picking out the most high calorie sweet treat and the most high calorie hot drink, I scanned the barcodes and voila, we had the food completely free. That looks good. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when <sighs> meal one completed. Uh, really, really good. Let's get on to meal two. Okay, so second meal we have come to KFC. I don't want anything more sugary. Apparently, if you go onto their app, uh, you download it, you fill out a questionnaire, you get a free side, and I believe you can get chicken, which is going to be protein. So let's give it a try. Together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. My mate Brandon, who was with me, also got the app on his phone, so I had two portions of free sides. Okay, so what we've got is some popcorn chicken and then two pieces of chicken here with some tap water. We've got protein, we've got calories, so it's going to be pretty good. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling now. Done. Protein down me. That was pretty good, to be fair. Okay, so it's about two o'clock right now. We've made it into the hotel. I'm thinking we need to get a gym session in, uh, but we need to find a way to get into a gym well, for free. Yeah. This is nice. We're coming up, a look at this view. Look at that. That is nice. For the next 15 to 20 minutes, I was calling around gyms in Birmingham to try and find free passes or just ways to get into any gym for free. After a lot of fails, we finally found one. So this is a bit of a weird one, but we're in Birmingham today and I'm filming a video about surviving walking in Birmingham for one pound. I was wondering if there was a chance of me um, coming to the gym and filming. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice one, mate. Thank you. So, yeah. Okay, we've, we've got one. That <laughs> worked. Tell you what I saw when you 
So the shin's pretty sick to be fair. What we're doing now is apparently there's a posing room, so we're gonna check it out, see what it's like. Look at this. Look at this. It's the end of the session and we've just come out here and there's like an outdoor kind of workout part. You can literally just get a nice, do some nice pull-ups while looking out. While looking out onto here. <laughs> Post-workout, I was extremely hungry. I saw online that Papa John's were doing a free medium pizza for students. I contacted one of my mates who was at Birmingham Uni and he gave me their student email address so I could apply for one. And then I tried to call up and ask how I can get my pizza. Hi, um, I was online and there was a deal for a free medium pizza for students. I've okay. Yeah, I've entered my details and stuff and I've got the confirmation email. I'm just wondering how I how I now like get that. Okay, so the way that um, the free pizza works, once you've got the code, yeah. um, you can only order it for delivery, I'm afraid. Just send the, the minimum eleven ninety nine for delivery. Okay, so basically the deal is you have to order it for delivery and that costs eleven ninety nine. So the only way we'd be able to get that is for delivery. I decided to physically walk to one of the Papa John stores and try and get my free pizza without having to pay for the delivery. I don't know if they were meant to do that. <laughs> so basically the dilemma was, you can get the free pizza, however you need to pay 11 99 for delivery. So I walked in and just asked if I could use the deal without delivery. And I, I don't think they were meant to give me one, but I got one, so nice. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys back at the hotel. Okay, we are back, got the pizza. Um, I don't know how I've got this, but yeah, I mean, I'll just get to eating it now. John's done. Tasted delicious. It's getting pretty late now. It's 5.52. We've still got the one pound to spend, so we're going to find a relatively cheap store to do that. Okay, and we are in Lidl right now. Let's try and spend this pound. In love. We've got some noodles, which are 36p. <laughs> 13p. <laughs> Creams 28p. And we are back from Lidl. We've got the good tier. Okay, so uh, what we got from Lidl a baguette for 22p, custard cream for 28p, speedy noodles for 36p, and then what I'm gonna have now spaghetti loops for 13p. I think so. It, it, it costed 99p in total. I'm gonna get this down me now, and then I think we're going out. Okay, so spaghetti hoops have been done. I mean, cold spaghetti hoops, not the best thing. If we had a microwave, it would taste a lot nicer. We're about to go out now. Yes, I'm wearing a Castle Gym shirt for going out. Uh, but after we've done that, uh, I gotta get some more meals in. Yeah, let's go out. <laughs> We decided to go to Weatherspoons, but obviously I couldn't spend any money. However, I wanted to see what the power of social media could do. Basically, at Weatherspoons, they have an app. In the app, you choose your Weatherspoons location and the table, and this can be accessed from anywhere across the world. This means that you can post on your story what Weatherspoons you're at with your table number, and anyone from anywhere across the world can send you anything. I really didn't expect anything to come out, but we eventually started getting, like, a couple drinks, and it was pretty sick. But holy what happened next, we just did not expect. <laughs> just minute after minute, more food and drinks just rolled in. Thank you. We could stay out late until the sun sets past eight. Everything that you see on the screen here, we had no clue was coming. Eventually, I had to just take it off my story. But I had a massive feast, so did everyone around us. We started giving food to other tables. It was such a good time. It's not this way, by the way. It's not this way. It's nice, though. Yeah, I mean... Photo shoot now. Come on, pose for that camera, Brandon. <laughs> Walking around uh, the city right now, it's actually really nice. <laughs> Okay, so it's later on now. Uh, we've just got back. Proper sick night. Quality. 
Yeah. Um, with Weatherspoons, I, I'd only just heard about this thing that you could do on the app today. Anyway, I did it, and I, I didn't expect what happened. I thought, like, a couple of my mates would send me some stuff just for, like, a bit of fun. Next thing we know, it, it was madness. Wasn't it was it? crazy. I'd say in total, we got about 20 plates of different, 20 plates or drinks of different stuff until we had to cut it off. Mushy peas, peas, whiskey, chicken. It was a feast, and it was a feast and a half. And technically, I haven't spent the pound. I'll, I'll leave that up to you if you think that was a legitimate way for this challenge. It is a challenge at the end of the day. I'm finishing off the night with my baguette. I'm gonna snack on custard creams, and of course, make the speedy noodle uh, spicy curry flavor. So we'll do that now. Okay, so midnight snack has been acquired. I mean, I've never, I've never had pot noodles before. They're not bad. Um, obviously, this is not the most nutritional thing. We've literally got one pound to spend in a city center, so I wasn't expecting much. But I'm pretty happy with like how well uh, and how many calories we have achieved. Yeah, I'm gonna eat all of this now. I will see you guys in the morning. I honestly just want to say thank you to everyone. Well, I think I have messaged every person who sent me something from mushy peas to a massive meal but if i haven't messaged you thank you so much i didn't expect anything at all 100 percent like i didn't want anyone to spend money if they weren't comfortable with it but it was mental um <laughs> you guys fed a lot of people that night yeah so challenge wise um at the start of the day when we found out that the crepe plate was closed i was just like this is going to be impossible but with the power of this device here it, it helped us out and as much as it was hard i think we did a decent job like obviously it wasn't the most nutritional day that would be a challenge. I don't even think that would be physically possible. However, I'm thinking in a different city, would you guys want me to do a bulking for zero pounds? See if I can do it. That would be hard, but let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Brandon, for uh, filming. Thank you to Ethan and Christian for taking us to Spoons and showing us around Birmingham. Awesome night. Cheers, guys. Yo, what's up guys, hope you're having a great day. Uh, as you can see, not that many people who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button. Yeah, cheers guys.